everybody! I have another book haul already to film for you today and I wanted to wait until I got these packages in before I did this so yeah so it's I'm doing it now since I just got them because I obviously can't wait to open them I don't have patience so let's get started the first book I have here is the chess queen enigma by Colleen Gleason this is the third book in the Stoker and Holmes series, I think that's what it's called. The first two books are The Clockwork Scarab and The Spirit Glass Charade. Um, this is an intriguing series. I haven't started it yet, but um, I was able to pick up the third one. Um, about the niece of Sherlock Holmes and the sister of Bram Stoker, who wrote Dracula. And this comes out in October. Next arc I have here is A History of Glitter and Blood. And this sounds crazy. Like, it sounds really good. Um, it's by Hannah Moskowitz. And it's like a fantasy. Fairies and gnomes. And the gnomes eat the fairies or something. So it sounds really dramatic and good. I don't really know. This comes out in August. The next arc I have is Soundless by Rochelle Mead. Oh, obviously the author of the... Vampire Academy and Bloodline series, series is, series? I don't know. Um, this is the first book in her new series, comes out in November of this year, and this actually um, centers around, like, Chinese culture, I believe. It's like a historical fantasy sort of a thing. Sounds really good. The cover, even of just the arc, is so pretty. It has that like velvety smooth feeling to it. If you felt a book like that, you know what I mean. It's just, and it's, but it's pretty short. Like it's not like an average size paperback. I'm very, very much looking forward to seeing how she does when she's not writing about vampires and like vampire hunters. This one I picked up was The Scorpion Rules by Erin Bow. This is like a dystopian, has like hostages in it and stuff, and it's like teen games, and if they win the games, they don't have to be a hostage anymore or something. It sounds really good. I'm not describing it very well, but it does sound good, and this comes out in September. The next one I have is actually not an arc, Amaze Amaze, and it is Ascendant by Diana Petterfrund. Um, this is the second book in the Rampant series, I'm not sure... I actually got this at the dollar store, that's why I picked it up, because it was only a dollar. And then in my book outlet box here, I believe, is the first one, so I got that so I could read this. And this is like a crazy YA fantasy that has like evil unicorns that kill people or something, so it sounds pretty intriguing. And yeah, this came out in 2010, so it's been out, the series has been out for a while. Next is another arc uh, by Sophie Kinsella. This is Finding Audrey. This is like her first YA book, I think. I don't think she's done any other YA, um, YA books, but this is supposedly her debut YA novel, and I haven't actually read any of Sophie Kinsella's books before, so if I end up liking her YA book, I might try some of her other ones, like the Shopaholic series or some of her standalones. Um, I'm not a huge contemporary person, but I've heard a lot of good things about this author, so I thought I would try it. This comes out in June. Next is The Invasion of the Teerling by Erica Johansson. This cover is so, so nice, so pretty. And this comes out June 15th. This is the sequel to The Queen of the Teerling. And I haven't read it yet, but it, sh it should be good. It should be a good time. Next, I'm so excited about this. I finally bought a copy of The Maze Runner by James Dashner. So after I read this, I can watch the movie. And I've heard so many good things about both this first book and the movie, and so I'm going to be hopefully reading this very soon because I've been wanting to watch the movie forever, and so I have a copy of this now. Yay! These next few I got at the library book sale, so a lot of them I wouldn't have picked up um, normally, but they were ridiculously cheap. Basically, you just got to fill a bag with however much books you wanted, and you could just, like, give a donation. So I paid, like, four dollars for like pretty much this whole stack of books over here. So I don't know a whole lot about these but they were interesting enough to put in a little, chip in a little bit of money for. So this one unfortunately has part of the cover torn off but I did like the cover. It's Seventh Son by Orson Scott Card. In my last book haul I hauled an Orson Scott Card book as well. This one sounds just like um 
the first book in a fantasy. It doesn't look super long and I read a little uh, paragraph or so of it and it didn't sound like super high fantasy wording. So, and there's like a picture behind the cover. It's pretty cool. I picked up Winnie the Pooh by A.A. A. Milne, Decorations by Ernest H. Shepard. And I've actually never read the Winnie the Pooh book. I've only seen the cartoons by Disney, which I loved. And apparently the cartoons are very close to um, the original stories, but I just love the little drawings in here. Next, I got a finished copy of Landline by Rainbow Rowell. And this is the first book I saw at the library book sale and I snatched it up immediately, even though you may remember I already have a copy of Landline by Rainbow Rowell, but this is an art copy. And for how cheap this was, I decided it would be worth it to get the finished copy. So because of that, I might be including this in, a give, in my next giveaway, whenever that may be. Um, if, so if you don't already have Landline and you would enjoy an art copy, keep your eyes out on my channel for that in the future. And the next, probably most ridiculous purchase I got from the library book sale because it was so ridiculously cheap is the uh, Words of Radiance book two of the Stormlight Arca Archive, Archive, not Arcade, by Brandon Sanderson. If it was Arcade, that'd be a like totally different book, I feel like, but probably still really good. Um, this is um, the sequel to the Way of Kings by Brandon Sanderson. I've still never read a Brandon Sanderson book, okay? So this was pretty much an impulse buy and I couldn't just leave it there when it was so cheap. Because you know how much this, like, this big of a book and a hardback usually goes for? I mean, it's pretty beat up. Like it's coming, the spine is like coming off the cover and stuff, but I still thought, eh, if I ever get around to reading it, I can, I would rather read a, I can read a beat up copy if it means I get to keep it forever if it's good. So I don't even own The Way of Kings yet and I don't even know if I'll ever get to a book this big. But just in case, I have it. And it weighs five pounds. Next is one I'm very excited I was able to find. It is a copy of Peter Pan by J.M. Barry, pictures by Jan Ormerod. Didn't have any copies of it yet, so I decided it was worth it, even if it wasn't the most ideal copy or ideal edition of this to pick it up. Next is the sequel to Treasure Island. It's called Silver Return to Treasure Island by Andrew Motion. Uh, again, have not read Treasure Island at all, the book, but this was in really good condition and I thought, why not? Because it has a cool cover and I always liked the story of Treasure Island even though I haven't read it. I know the story. I've seen Treasure Planet by Disney. That was pretty cool. The last one I got, just on a whim basically, is Adventures for Cartooning. How to Turn Your Doodles into Comics by James Strom, Andrew Arnold, and Alexis Frederick Frost. And this just looks like a really fun graphic novel that talks about cartooning and which looks like a silly story. It has dragons and knights and stuff in it. And on the back it says, Warning, there is a big dragon in this book who will eat all of your candy if he is not stopped. <gasps> not my candy, no! So yeah, this will probably take me like five minutes to read. But I thought the illustrations were just like super cute and looked really fun and really colorful. So I wanted to try it. So that's all for my um, loose books. Now let's finally get to my grand unboxings. I'm very excited. First I have just a single book from Better World Books, which if you haven't checked them out, Better World Books is a great website to find cheap used books and there's free shipping on all their stuff. Like, it's like book, book depository, but for used books. It is an ex-library copy, but that is totally all right. Um, it is Between the Lines by Jodi Picoult and Samantha Van Leer. Uh, this is the first book in the, um, in a duology, which if you saw one of my previous book hauls, I got the, um, off the page. Uh, book by the same office which is the companion novel to this one but this is the first one so I wanted to get this one so I could read them in order. Now I will open my book outlet box. In this order for book outlet I tried to um, stick to like first books that I had the sequels to already um, 
to kind of help help me be able to get rid of some of my TBR series wise. Um, because I've had a bad habit lately of picking up sequels of books when I didn't own the first book. First we have paper, as per the usual. The first one I see in here is Rampant by Diana Ketcherfund. Um, if you were here like five minutes ago, I mentioned I bought Ascendant from the dollar store and Rampant is the first one. So now I have the first two books in this series. I believe there's three altogether. Clockwork Princess by Cassandra Clare. The second book unfortunately sold out before I could buy my order, but so I have read this one and I have this one. So now I have the first and third book in hardback. And so this one will just be sitting on my shelf angrily looking at me until I can pick up and read the second one. But I'm still really happy I have this. I think the covers are really cool and way better than the Mortal Instruments covers. Even the new ones that just came out. I don't like those ones either, but I really like these ones. Next is The Beautiful and the Cursed by Paige Morgan. I'm happy to pick up this one because I had already picked up the sequel to Beautiful and the Curse of Lovely and the Lost, so I'd had this one for a while, wasn't able to read it. But now I have this one, so I can read the first two, and I believe this is also a trilogy. This is the first book in a trilogy I've been wanting to pick up for a while. It is Shadowfell by Juliette Marillier. This is a hardback, like all, most of these are hardbacks, and I got them for really good cheap, cheap prices. I actually placed this order when they were doing their Mother's Day 30% off store-wide sale. And they actually, I actually got a $5 credit to put towards that as well. This is Untold by Sarah Reese Brennan in hardback. I seriously can't believe these are all hardback. Um, by Sarah Reese Brennan. This is book two in the Lindbergh Legacy. I already own book one. And I have read both of these. Um, I got the third one from the library. And so I'm going to reread like the last few chapters of this to refresh my memory before I read the last book. The last one, this is a scratch and dent, but the only thing wrong with it is the little tear in the top of the cover. This is Chantress Alchemy by Amy Butler Greenfield. This is the uh, second book in the Chantress, I think it's just a trilogy. First book is Chantress, then I just picked, the one I just picked up is Chantress Alchemy, and then the third book that has not come out yet, so it doesn't have as good of a cover, is Chantress Fury. That's all for my unboxing. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I know I just had a book haul, but I'm really happy. These were all really good deals, really cheap books. I need another bookshelf. As always, I'll see you next time. Brianna with Brief Books. See ya!